Joined by UND head women's basketball coach, Constantine Popa. Uh, coach, the regular season just around the corner. Um, you've had a month of practice now and a couple of exhibition games. Um, you know, where do you feel that um, you know, the team's at right now as you guys uh, get ready for that season opener on Friday? Um, you know, we had a, like you said, we had a couple of games and um, I think we're moving in the right direction. Um, obviously, we're not where we want to be yet, but it's still pretty early in the season and uh, definitely looking forward to uh, uh, to finally, you know, start playing a couple of games at our level, you know, um, uh, but um, we still, we still working on certain things and uh, we're still trying to get a couple of, a uh, couple of players healthy and uh, once they, once they get, go, you know, they get going, they should be a, uh, should be uh should be all right. So you know, you talk a little bit about you know trying to get some players where uh, where you want to be. You know, you've got uh, you know a little bit different of a of a team coming into this year as opposed to last year when it was basically a new team coming into uh, into 2014-15. This year, you've got three starters coming back, nine returners in total. Um, you know how important for for you and your coaching staff is that this year as uh, as you know things get ready to get going. I mean, it, it definitely makes a big difference. You know, it's uh, it's good to have players back. Obviously, they know what to expect. They know how we have a better understanding how to work with them, and same, you know, for them as well. They 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 know our coaching staff now was, uh, you know, last year, like you said, we had eight nine new players. It's it was a totally different team, but uh, it's not the same situation this year. Um, things are going pretty well. You know, uh, we. Uh, uh, like I said, we had some some returning players, and they understand their role. It's uh, just a matter of time again before we, you know, find a, a good team chemistry, and that's the biggest thing right now. We kind of um, we're still going through, uh, you know, some of our some of our guards with injuries and stuff. And once they come back and get healthy, uh, I think we should be pretty strong. How to uh, you know to go along with those uh, those nine returners? You've got uh, you know only four newcomers this year. Um, just what does uh, what does each one of them uh, you know bring to the table? Well, we got one freshman, and obviously it's uh, it's totally different for her, for Jordan, and uh, you know she's doing a pretty decent job, especially that we kind of threw her out there with, uh, like I said, with the injuries that we have right now. We kind of had to put her out there for, for at least for now, and. Not getting uh, too many breaks, but uh, she's she's coming along well. She's she's learning. She's learning. Obviously, it's a lot different for her compared to what it was last year in high school. Uh, Nairman, junior college transfer. You know, she's coming along nice as well. You know, obviously a lot a lot of things to learn. You know, we got to keep in mind a lot of times, junior college players they they do some stuff, but not to the level that we practice and the level that we work at. Uh, you know, our level here. So. Uh, it's got a lot of a lot of a lot of potential, but a lot of things to learn. So then uh, you you take a kind of, kind of take a look at the schedule. Pick fifth to finish. Uh, or pick two finish fifth in the GLVC East this year. Um, you know you've got some non-conference games coming up. You know with uh, you know one that jumps out jumps right out is against a, a ranked Wayne State team and uh, <clears throat> you know a couple of ranked GLVC schools in uh, in both Drury and and Lewis coming into this year so uh, you know how does this how does this year's schedule shape up in terms of not only you know qualifying for the GLVC tournament but maybe being able to uh, to jump over a team or two in front of uh, in front of you in the east well you know obviously only time will tell you know it's uh, it's a preseason it's uh all the, the the rankings and all everything came out. It's good, obviously. It's uh, good for whoever, whoever's ranked. That's you know, they rank pretty high. But uh, I'm really not concerned about it too much. You know, obviously, they still have to play us. We still have to play them, regardless of where they are at this point. So uh, definitely excited. I think it's uh, it's going to be. We're going to have some good opportunities. Obviously non-conference games as well as once we start the conference and uh, it's going to be a challenge you know it's going to be a challenge and uh, uh, not really worried about where we start right now I'm kind of worried about we're going to finish at the end of the season and uh, obviously we got a lot of work to do a lot of games to play and like I said only time will tell all right coach we're looking forward to the uh, the season starting as well thank you thank you